Hello and welcome to Archer Point's presentation of Deferred Revenue and Expense and Microsoft Dynamics Business Central. My name is Alex Wiley. I'm a pre-sales consultant here at Archer Point, and I'll be leading you through this example today. The first thing we want to look at is the setup. So I've put my chart of accounts on a separate tab over here and filtered it down to the two accounts to make things a little easier. If I open up my subscription revenue account, we can see that I've set this account up with two things in addition to the basic setup, which is I've given it a tax group code for subscription and I've assigned a default deferral template code. If I look at the details of my deferral template, I've assigned it the code, the description, my account, which is my deferred revenue liability account, I've given it a deferral percentage. So I want this to defer 100% of my revenue over the next 12 periods from the posting date. And so we have multiple options here for when you want that to start the deferral, as well as the calculation method. And my period description, when this posts to these accounts, we're gonna see a def revenue deferred month and year. And these setup details, if you do a search for Microsoft Docs, Business Central Deferred Revenue, the write-up on Microsoft site will explain all this information. So if you need quick and easy reference for these setups, all that information is available on this Microsoft site. So I'm going to go back now and walk through an example of what this looks like when it's posted. I'm going to create a new sales invoice, select my customer and make it a GL account. You can assign deferrals to items as well. And when I put in subscription revenue, as with all our orders, I can change this for our customers to be something relevant. So if I want to put in 12 month subscription for our service, And we see that my tax group code has come across and defaulted from my GL account based on the setup. You can review or change by going to line related information, deferral schedule, the amount that is being deferred, the number of periods, and you can check all of that here. So you have your starting date. And so for example, if I wanted to change this to eight periods and hit calculate schedule, it's going to recalculate that for me. So all of that can be reviewed for posting. I now go to posting and post. Yes, I do not want to look at the posted invoice, but I do want to go back to my chart of accounts. And when I open this, it's going to refresh my number in the background. And now we see all of the future posted ins and outs moving our deferred revenue into what is the actual revenue. So we now see all of these entries that are future dated for our reporting in the system. And now this will show up since we're reporting on period date then you see that happen in the future. And the expenses work the exact same way, except on the purchase order and your, for example, my six month expense deferral would simply look at my separate account. So I would have my expense account and then my deferred expense under assets. And that is how you do 
deferral, revenue and expenses, and Dynamics Business Central. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to reach out to us at Archer Point, and we will answer any questions you have. Thank you for watching this Archer Point video. You can stay in the know with the latest on Microsoft Dynamics by subscribing to this channel. You can also learn more from our blog at archerpoint.com or contact Archerpoint by emailing info at archerpoint.com. We'll see you in the next video.